Sorry about that, man. Hey, you're my car. Yeah, sorry, huh? You think that's gonna fix things? You yeah. know, no harm, no foul, right? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Ten bucks, Uber? Yo, Petty. Yo! Put the fur on the glass! Technical! Now, for bonus points. You don't want to do this. I do, Trump. I really do. I got worse. You want to see worse? I'll get you next time, chump. I love a full service operation. Later. See, the bookcase didn't get damaged. Oh, yeah. Thanks for letting me use your car to haul this thing, huh? I sure hope it was worth $60. Is that what a headlight costs now? Yep. I'll take it out of your paycheck. No, take out of his paycheck. I thought you didn't get his name. I got a plate number. Okay. A partial one. I think I got it in fourth gear pretty fast. I'll see what the DMV kicks out. You say he was about 18? Yeah, and crazy. <laughs> well, he'd have to be crazy to pick a fight with you now, wouldn't he? No, it's not that he picked the fight. It's that he ever thought he had a chance. You know what I like about you? What? You're so humble. I'll see what my friend at the DMV finds on this uh, license plate. I appreciate it. Detective Boudreau. Oh, morning, Ines. Do you have a minute? I've got this witness who's about to skip town. Oh, okay. It can wait. Doesn't sound like it can wait. Ines. It's my daughter. Well, what's going on? There are these kids in the neighborhood, bad kids, and Christina's running around with them. They get into some kind of trouble? All the time. I can't get her away from them. And I thought maybe you could talk to her. Me? What would I say to her? I don't know. But you're out there. It would mean more coming from you. I have had very little experience talking to teenagers. I mean, as a nun. I can't reach her. I don't know what else to do. Uh, maybe I can tell her about some of the cases I've had. Repeat offender ratios, that kind of thing. Anything, really. I appreciate it so much. Okay. Uh, have a stop by sometime next week. Sorry, I'm late, Ma.
I asked her to stop by on the off chance. Christina, hello. So how's the sandwich? Oh, here yeah, yeah. You're really tough, you know that? Look, I was going to tell you all about some of the characters I met on the street, but I can see that's not going to hold any water with you. So, why don't we just cut right to the chase, talk about your life. Look, you see, it's like this. On the other hand... You're not very good at this. You noticed, huh? Why don't you ask me if my mother has anything to be worried about? See, that's good. Now, that's very good. Does she? My friends are nice, sweet people. Aren't there any other nice, sweet people at your school? What, motorheads and computer nerds? I don't think so. Look, I can't control what Miguel and the boys do, but they never tell me to do anything wrong, and they're really good to me. Miguel, Miguel Mendez. Yeah, we went to the same school since kindergarten. These are the guys you hang out with. Christina, that'll get you killed, okay? Everybody knows I'm not in the gang. Christina, bullets do not differentiate. Find new friends. Adam. Am I interrupting? No, just give me one minute, huh? Okay, would you just think about it, huh? you just like my mother. Totally wrong. I won't ask. Mm. <laughs> Lansky called. Your witness is back in the loop. The day's looking up. Yeah, even more. DMV kicked out five plates. This one matched the car. Belongs to Luis Gomez, first lieutenant for the K Street gang. <laughs> What's a smile for? Providence. Come again? I have to talk to this young man's leader. Now I do enjoy the upper hand. I win again. You always play alone? My friends are on an errand. How about a game? Another time, maybe. Say in a building that isn't condemned by the county. Are you here to evict us? No. Miguel, right? That's right. A friend of yours made a mistake recently. Luis Gomez? A local Luis. What mistake was that? He did a Hank Aaron on a car. Smashed the headlights, which is, you know, no big thing, really. Unless that car belongs to a cop. And that cop is you? Adam Boudreau. I'll speak to Luis. What exactly would you like from him? Thing is, I want something from you. And then I don't arrest Luis. I'm listening. It's about Christina Valens. Let her go. Tina, she's my little hermana. But you and your set are in a payback game with the Quattros, right? How long before Christina gets caught in the crossfire? What is she to you? Her mother wants the favor. I tell you what, because I care for Christina's welfare and so you don't lose face with her mom, I'll break things down to the girl. Thanks. Oh. And Luis owes me 60 bucks. <laughs> Send me a receipt and I'll make good on the headlights. My man, you could be an asset to a legitimate organization. Yeah? That's what my parole officer keeps telling me.
when's Malloy get back from vacation? Not soon enough to wash those dishes. Oh, B, come on. You really should have a dishwasher in this I place. I got one, man. It's you. Your know, electric one would be nice. Ah, <laughs> uh, Christina, hello. Hello? You've ruined my entire life. I take it you talk to Miguel. He won't talk to me. My best friend dumped me because of you. Am I guilty? Ah, uh, I've got work to do. I'll be over here with the beer nets. You think my mom's so nice just because you work with her. Well, how well do you know her? Like you said, I work with her. Well, did you know she used to leave me home alone all the time? No. But that has nothing to do with today, huh? Hey, Miguel cares about me, okay? He's the only one I could count on. Then, today you cut a deal with me to let you go. This doesn't sound like somebody you can count on, Christina. I don't care. I'm getting my friends back, okay? And if you get in the way again, I'm gonna stop you. I don't care how, but I will. Christina! I just stay out of my life! Okay, everybody. Show's over. Next match is at 10.05 tonight. You don't like being interrogated. Not when I don't have the answers. I think maybe she went out of here just a little angry. <laughs> I can't say I blame her. Examine your priorities, huh? I have. Maybe. You want to look at yours. Grady, whose side are you on? Look, why should that girl listen to you? Because I'm right, I'm older, I'm a cop. Take your pick. No, no, wait, it's like this. Look, if someone told me that you were bad for me, I wouldn't buy it. Cause I'm not. No, because you were there for me when I was a kid. I trust you. Tina, trust Miguel. Look, this is different. I mean, Miguel is dangerous. He's really dangerous. Oh, what? And you weren't? Come on, B. I was an eight-year-old kid in Nam without a family, and you were a U.S. Marine. A trained killer, right? But see, I... I didn't care who you killed. I just cared that you were good to me. Christina's... Going through the same thing. I guess I really missed that one. How'd I, hide him? How'd I miss it? You're wrong. You're older. You're a cop. Take your pick. <laughs> Look. <clears throat> Maybe you missed it because no one's ever saved your life. It was the other way around. You know, you're really up on this whole thing. You got a handle on it. Yeah. Maybe she'd be able to hear you. No. Yeah. No. Come on, Big, I... Ah, Okay, I can try, but I can't promise anything. You couldn't do any worse than I. True. Hey. You were wrong. Someone did save my life. He led me out of the jungle. Looked a lot like you. I thought you looked familiar. Get out of here. <laughs> Thanks, boss. Messenger. Then why are you here? 
Um, how much time do you have? I'm going somewhere. Look, is this cool? K Street girl's got a new friend. I know. Let's check out the clicker. Simone. Let's go. Let's go. Parents used to run out on you a lot, huh? Mostly my mom. Trying to find my dad. He used to drink. Yeah? Yeah, my parents left me too in a way. Friend of mine, though, he picked up the slack. You know, the guy saved my life. I mean, if people started telling me he was trouble, I wouldn't love him any less. That's how I feel. Yeah? But if they told me that running with him would put me in the line of a bullet, man, I might have to move out of the way, you know? Now you sound like Boudreaux. Actually, he's right sometimes. Look, Christina, it's like this. You run with Miguel, you're gonna get in the middle of a gunfight. Maybe I don't care. Oh, you wanna die? Maybe. What's so great about life? Just one thing, it's better than death. Oh, like you know, right? I saw my parents get killed. Different country, different gang. Believe me, you don't want to die. Mm. Hey, Tina. What are you doing here? Hey, I came to hang. And now we talked about that. I gave Boudreaux my word. Forget him. You guys are my buds. Hey, Tina, que pasa? Loco, hey. Tina, you hanging with this buster? Come on, Luis, you don't even know the guy. Oh, no? This is the guy that faced me in the gas station. Come on, man, why don't we just leave that behind us? See so you kick your way out of this. We'll kill each other before we get a chance to. Let's jam. Tina, you see what I'm talking about? Miguel, don't do this! Tina, go home. Go on, Tina. dumb as I thought you were. So you sent Christina home. What else? What else? Did you miss the part where I took on an entire street gang? I heard all about it. What are you so upset about? I tell a girl how dangerous her friends are. And my friend just goes ballistic on them. See, that's great. I don't believe you. They put a gun in my face and I didn't kill them. I thought I did okay. Better than okay. You were supposed to talk to the girl and that's it. What am I supposed to do? Four guys came at me. You have to control the situation. No, you do. You're a cop. I'm just a friend who was asked to help out. I keep stepping in it, don't I? See, I figure everything I know, you know, because you were always there with me, even when I didn't know where the hell you were. Well, I apologize. It's okay. Do we have to kiss now? I'm not that sorry. So 
we have any progress with Christina? Look, she's going to get caught in something. Yeah. She's got legal rights and bad judgment, and I can't touch her. How do you do this? Huh? I don't think I could be a cop. I don't think so either. I'll see you later at Malloy's. Boudreau, a gang shooting off K Street just came over the radio. I'm scared Christina is... It's okay, I'll go. I'll go with you. No, you've helped enough for one day. I'll radio you. Don't worry. Dead puppy. One of the Quattro's been shot in the chest. Nobody knows anymore. That's right. Any K Street boys seen running from the scene? Not by the time we got here. And no weapons? Nope. Tina! Tina! No, I'm okay. Here, take this. Look, I can't walk. The police are going to pick me up for sure. Amana! Dios. Everything okay, Christina? Stay to patrol. Your mother was worried. Thought you might be in danger. Well, no, I was halfway home when I heard the sirens. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You don't look it. How about I drive you home? No, it's okay. I'll walk. Hey, I told you there was going to be trouble. I told you one way or another they're going to rope you into it. Now, have they? Look, my only trouble is you, Boudreaux. Okay? I'm out of here. You guys said they don't have a problem with you running this one since you're already involved. Yeah, that I am. That was unfair of Inez to ring you in. Look, I could have said no. <laughs> no, you couldn't, not you. All right, one of the Quattro gang members is dead. I assume we're rounding up the rival guys. We arrested K Street's leader this morning. He suddenly needed a doctor. Which hospital? City. Thanks. Miguel, my man. How's the food? Hey, Boudreaux. It's better than the entertainment, no cable. I can always get you your dartboard. You did that for me? Yeah. I see here you got a flush one. Yeah, I fell. <laughs> I don't suppose you fell anywhere near K Street playground. No, in my driveway. Uh-huh. <laughs> The word is you weren't carrying a piece when we picked you up. A gun? Me? <laughs> no, not you. <laughs> uh -uh. <laughs> but you know, I got this feeling in my gut that tells me you're guilty. And I'm gonna nail you for the shooting. I left your girl alone. You kill somebody, I don't care if you leave my mother alone. You got nothing on me. Not yet. Stop by a little later. Visiting hours are till nine. Bet. I'm gonna be zip locking your gun by then. <laughs> Boudreaux! What gun?
ask Christina. Fine. I kept her home from school today. That's a good idea. You know, the Quattros are going to be going after anybody that's a friend of K Street. She promised me she'd stay away from Miguel and his friends from now on. Yeah. I'd like to talk to her sometime. She told me she didn't see anything yesterday. You answered before I asked. And as? It's nothing. Let it go. It's too late for that now. I want to do what is best for her. Has she done something wrong? If she was holding a gun, the gun that was used, what would happen to her? Nothing good, but it'd be a lot worse if I have to go after her for it. She was hiding this in the attic last night. Give it to me now. I'll count that as her turning herself in. I found the gun. Where? She answered that twice. In her driveway? We ran a ballistics check on the gun you found in your driveway, and it matches the one that killed the Quattro yesterday. Now, do you want to change your story? It's the truth. The truth is Miguel killed the guy and left you holding the bag. I'm not holding no bag. No? Yours are the only fingerprints found on the gun. Can we have a moment? If the DA wants to make an example, what these guys have is circumstantial. But you could get charged with murder or as an accessory. Tell the truth. Detective Pedro. I found the gun. What is this loyalty for him? You and Miguel live in the same neighborhood. That's all, Christina. My clients made her statement. The rest is up to the DA. Fine. You must hate lawyers. She's just doing her job. I gave the DA a weak case. Weak? Come on, we know that Miguel passed Christina the gun. What we know and what we can prove are two different things. No, so that's it, right? Girl goes free, Miguel gets off. Bad judgment, legal rights. Now you're learning. Yeah, well, I'm not sure that I want to. Excuse me. Thank you for all you tried to do. Your mother's a brave woman. You know, you should be thanking her. You're turning me in? Yeah, right. I'll be in the car. If you were a betting man... I'm not. But if you were... How long would you say it'll take for those two get to World War III? Conservatively? Somewhere between here and home. Where are you going? Same place she's gonna be running to. Yeah, I don't suppose that you could use a backup. Of course, it's a policeman. I couldn't agree with you more, Lieutenant. Later, Boudreaux. I'm gonna be heading on over to my boys. No problem. Hey guys, how's it going? Tina, 
you running from jail? No, they released me. How's Gil? Well, I'm taking his place. For now, anyway. What you doing here? I left home. With a mother like yours, you should. She ratted on her homeboy. Why? He's not in any trouble. How'd you get out of jail? I told you, they released me. But what did you say to get released? That you're holding McGill's gun? No, that I found the gun. You lie. Oh, I'm not lying. Is this fool your mother? Don't you pull her. Oh, 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 Everything was clean. Now the man has his gun. Mother breath things bad. Hold it, police! They all have alibis. You ever notice how alibi rhymes with obvious lie? It's pretty flowers. Yeah. We wanted to send uh, Christina something. Is she staying at the house? No. She's got an aunt who lives down the block, but she can't stay there. You have my full attention. The K Street boys considered Inez and her daughter enemies. For turning in the gun? Yeah. They're glad about Inez. Now they want Christina dead, too. You know this for a fact? We got word Luis put out a hit on her this morning. Well, that makes me wonder what you're doing here. Christina wanted to try to fix things. Her way. Are you going to be OK? Doc says, yeah. Don't worry about me. You got that right. Hey, I'm talking to Tina, chump. So back off. Grady, please. Okay. I'll be right out here. Thanks for seeing me. I'm so scared, Gil. Mm, you sound like you used to, Herman, at the time I found you hiding in the garage. Built that tent till my parents came home. I wish we were nine again. Mm. But you 
You know I'd never rat you out. <clears throat> sure, I do. Will you tell Louise? They say they're gonna kill me. What's wrong? What is it? Are you saying you won't? Are you afraid of them? No way. You are afraid. You're afraid to go against them. I can't go against them. They're my homeboys. Oh, well, what am I? They're my homeboys. Drill. About the gun. I want to change my statement. You can say I told you so. No desire. I'd rather tell you everything will be okay. Will it? I'm going to talk to Miguel, then we'll see. Hey, Scotty, can I get you to take a statement? All right. Look. You did the right thing, so stay here, okay? Thanks. Look, what does that mean if he gets tried as a jury? It means if Miguel is found guilty of murder, he gets out of juvenile detention in a couple of years. You went to the hospital and you promised him this? Then I do not get your law. No way, no how, nada. Do a favor, get a favor. Fine, fine. What does Miguel do for you? He allows Christina to live in the hood with her aunt. Oh, right, right. His homies are going to go for that. Well, I'm going over to talk to them right now. You want to come along? What are we going to do? That's up to them. Well, there's something you're not telling me. Oh, I, I got a buddy of mine who works at the fire department. I know they're scheduled to burn down a building today. Condemn building, just off K Street. Oh, just off K Street. <laughs> but the K Street boys don't know about this, do they? Not yet. Police! Firearms without a permit in a pile over here now. No way, man. My way or the hard way. Let's see him. Do it! That's all of them? You sure? Bet. Good. Now everything's even. My name is Boudreau. And you gentlemen are affiliated with the K Street Gangsters, correct? Okay, we just guys in the hood. With a tradition of honor. What are you getting at, Boudreaux? Just that you gentlemen keep your word. If, for example, you were to give me your word that you would not harm Christina Valens, then I'd know you could keep your word. She ratted out McGill. That she did. And now I want your word that you won't have any payback. What if we don't get it? Oh, you will. Because nobody leaves this building until you do. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Crazy Boudreaux? I'd like to find out. Just remember that if you think to go back on your word, Luis. 
those K Street boys going yesterday. You think so? Uh, yeah, I mean, heck. Even I believed that you weren't going to let them out. Really? Yeah, but I mean, obviously, I knew you would. That's interesting. You were going to, right? Now, where's the sugar? Boudreaux, right? I think I'll take two. B. I knew that. And that you wouldn't let those guys buy it. It's all an act. <laughs> right? <laughs> 